what is up guys today i wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to get better fps in valheim so there's a couple of different things that you can do i'm going to show some in-game settings as well as some boot settings that you can put and a lot of people may have already read up on this figured out how to do it there's one tweak that i make to it that i find makes a difference for me it may not work for you guys, but anyway, let's just get straight into this. First thing that you're going to want to do is download Notepad++ 32-bit or 64-bit, depending on your operating system. So I'm going to come right here. I just clicked the newest version, installer. Okay, next, I agree, next, next. You can create a shortcut if you want, but you really don't need it. You're never going to actually open it. All right, and boom. All right, so Notepad is installed, so you can just exit out of that. And the next thing you're going to want to do is go to your Steam library. And also for this, you're probably going to want Valheim closed. So you're going to go to Valheim, which is right here. You're going to right click properties. You see I selected local files. Now you're going to click browse. When you click browse, you're going to have these different files come up. You're going to click Valheim data. Boot config is the file that you want to mess with. So you're going to right click it. Edit with Notepad++. You may have to click open with Notepad++. Just depends. But regardless, you're going to open that. Now this is going to pull up this code right here, okay? So what you're going to do, you're going to put your cursor exactly where I have mine, right here. You're going to click, click enter twice. So now you have two free files, or not files, you get two free lines right here. So the next step is going to be, which I'll have this in the description. You're going to copy this, gfx enable, gfx jobs equals one. Then you're going to go back to the notepad. You're going to paste that. And then under that line, you're going to paste GFX enable native GFX jobs equals one. You're going to go back to the notepad, paste, and then that's it for in here. So you're going to save it though. Make sure you save it. Save it, exit out. The next thing that you can do. Just kind of adjust the Windows full screen settings for the application and can give you a slight FPS boost. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna copy that also in the description. Now, under general, whenever you right click, uh, let me just redo this just in case. See, so you right click Valheim, you go to properties, launch options, paste. Paste that right there. You're good to go with that. So I kind of explained what that does, but just so you kind of know what these two things right here do, this actually allows Valheim to utilize your GPU more than it already does. Because Valheim is kind of a 40, 60 between GPU and CPU. This just allows it to use your GPU a little bit more because obviously the GPU can work a lot better in games than a CPU can. They work together, but the GPU does more is what I'm saying. So there's one more thing that some people do with a task manager. And in order for me to actually do this, I'm going to have to boot up Valheim. So let's see. Once you boot up Valheim, you're going to right click on this bottom bar and click task manager. Now you see Valheim's right here. I'm going to right click Valheim, go to details. It brings you to this file, Valheim EXE. That's the program, the actual game that's running. And then they set the priority to high above normal. Now, I actually noticed that this did the opposite for me. So I don't know if I would suggest you actually do this. Obviously, give it a shot. See if it works for you. I'm just saying, for me personally, it did not now i'm going to go through some quick settings that i change let me make this full screen real quick so the settings that i usually adjust because this can give a, a big boost i don't know why my 
screen isn't there we go um first off tessellation you will not notice a difference if you turn tessellation off it just doesn't sun shafts is another big one that can drop fps it kind of interacts with your gpu or is processed by your gpu in a similar similar way that shaders are does or uh what's the word ray tracing something like that so i turn that down i also turn down the shadow quality because again just like ray tracing that can that can really drop fps depth of field you should always have that off chromatic aberration you will not be able to tell if that's off so other than that you could drop your level of detail or your particle lights the level of detail you might notice particle lights you will not as much so now let's see let's say i just load up a random game let's just go to this one right here and let's see what kind of fps we're getting i typically get 80 to 90 it's definitely not optimized the best but I mean, it's definitely more than playable. So like I said, I usually get 80 to 90. So let's see if we get any bit of an edge now that we have all the settings applied. Okay, so we are now getting 110 to 120 FPS. Drop down to 90 for a second, but it looks like it's staying pretty consistent now. Yeah, so I mean, we're getting 108 110 fps definitely an improvement it's not ginormous but the most important thing is you cannot tell that i changed any settings i mean just look around you could still see the sun the light rays coming through the bloom and the vegetation still looks just as good it's basically perfect so i apologize if this was a little bit of a long video but I realize a lot of people don't have killer gaming PCs right now, especially with the part shortages. So anything I can do to help out and help you enjoy this game, I will do it. Please leave a like and a comment. Consider subscribing. I'm a very active YouTuber. I plan to stay consistent going forward. So yeah, let me know, guys know. Oh, let me know down in the comments if any of you guys have a certain video that you would like to see or any changes that you would like and yeah you guys have an awesome day thank you for watching